Hunt 25, man, this feels weird, but you know what also feels weird? The ratio of Cave Lightning McQueens to Deputy Lightning McQueens, despite them being in the exact same case with the exact same quantity. I don't understand. I still haven't found one Deputy McQueen, but these are my second, third, and fourth Cave McQueens. And there's May. What we got over here? Nothing. Some good color changers though. Target looking pretty much the same as always. Some Case B remnants, some two packs, but I had no intentions of finding these, but they were the only reason I came into this store because I was like, this is the only thing that's actually hitting Target stores right now that's new. These Mini Racer 3 packs, you got Deputy McQueen, Present made her brand new. You got some next gens in this one. Nothing new, but still a nice presentation there. Good to see flipped over. We got Jeff Corvette down in this one. Brand new. Very exciting. And that one is the McQueen makeover pack. Don't care. We got Suki here. She was in the last case, I do believe. Who else? Another Jeff Corvette. I think that's probably another Suki back there as well. Good stuff. Very happy about President Mater. Here at another Target. And yeah, remember the last Target where I thought I found all those new mini three packs? Well, I missed one. Completely forgot about it. But thank goodness it is right here. Just waiting for me. That's awesome. I literally came here for this sole purpose. Let's see what else they got. So they have the next gen pack. Another one of these. Another one of these. We got the dinosaur pack. And there's the Jeff pack. Good stuff here at Target today. This would be a pretty good selection if all these singles weren't like four to six months old. Lots of case M and case B of this year. These are some of the better ones. Revo. Mal, the new mini three packs though. So it looks like this Walmart finally got something new in, but just remnants of case F, no new color changers, just the same old case. They do have the new accessory two pack case though with Doc and Leroy, although this one is absolutely busted. So I'll probably get that to open. And then maybe this one to keep in the package. Well, that worked out nicely. Yeah, not too bad. Lots of duplicate accessory packs, so I don't know if those will ever sell. Here we are at Target, and unfortunately, remnants of the Mini Racers 3 packs case. They have the one here with the dinos, but not the one with Professor Z or the one with Aaron kind of fast. So kind of disappointed about that, but just wallowing in this absolute glutton of Case M remnants here, which is really honestly disappointing to see. Target needs to get their game going. Here we are at the Walmart with the baby car selection that often is a zero car selection. And it looks like they have pretty much almost maybe a full Case G. Surely the one that I need the most, Kelly Beanbright will be missing though. But yeah, there you go. You have Road Rumbler McQueen. I will snap that one. I actually dropped the one I have and it shipped really badly, so I need that. I need a Pit Stoposaurus, if you don't mind. I need a Drift Party Mater back here. I'll take one of those, please. What else do we have here? Don't want that. Don't want that. Fennec Missile's kind of nice. Jackson Storm, but yeah. Missing quite a few of them. Missing Potoka, Kelly Beambright, and a few others. So that is a little unfortunate. Holy crap, guys, look what I found down here. I'm an absolute nosy little guy, and bam, look at that, bam. The three other ones I needed, not on great cards, but hey, I'm not complaining. Somebody trying to hide this from me, not happening. I'm an absolute, and either I'll sniff it out. So it appears that Target has finally gotten in another 2023 case of singles, being case E. So they have some of the darker red packages here, but it does look pretty picked over. Stuff left over from previous, ooh, okay. From previous cases, but there you go. You have a Deputy McQueen, that one's pretty good. You have Lizzie, that's a solid find. 
Let's see if Rich Mixon is left here. I highly, highly doubt it. Got a couple Maple or Revs. This one got here, Noah Gochak. So that's from case B. Actually, no, I think he might have carried over. Sarge. Here's this Jonathan Wrenchworths. We have a Jeff Corvette up here. So it's not too picked over, but Rich is probably gone. I don't see any Cave McQueens either. There's Patty, that one's pretty solid. Of course, Mario. I will take that. And then this last rack here, Tailgate, the King. So yeah, most of the good ones are gone, but this is a mess. So hey, there is a Cave McQueen. The one I'd be most excited for is Rich Mixon. And surely that's probably the one that's gone. But still a very good sight to see. Not much going on here at Target. Just some more Case E remnants. Nothing good. But I did finally find this Mini Racers 3-pack that I needed with Professor Z. Still no luck on the Aaron Kinda Fast Trucks pack. But we're making progress, guys. One at a time here. Yep. Not here, sadly. They got absolutely nothing here at Walmart, but first off, Salt Flat sets on clearance for nine bucks. And then way up there, I found one Glow Racers playset. So I will pick this up since the actual ones aren't out yet. Make a cool video about it. But yeah, pretty excited about that. And honestly, it was about to walk away. So can't believe I actually saw it. It's that Bloodhound again. We're back here at Walmart, and while they still don't have any singles, or it really looks like anything at all, they do have quite a few of these five packs, nothing new, and they do have the new accessory pack for now, Speed Cone and Gearston Marshall. Definitely will open this one up. It's also good to see this one because it was probably one of the rarest from the first wave, and they got two of the McQueen and King packs. No more Glow Racer play sets or anything of the sort. All right. Finally found the Rich Mix in here amidst all these Case E remnants. Kind of weird. It was just laying there. There's no Cave McQueen, no Deputy McQueen, just a bunch of the same old crap from last time. We are here at Target and the selection is looking pretty slim as per usual. They do have remnants of the new Mini Racers. Three packs, no Aaron kind of fast though, but fortunately, Although you didn't see it in the hunt so far. My mom did find that for me, so it's not that bad. And it is, though, my first time finding the Cryptid Buster Lightning McQueen color changer, so I will swoop that up. Also, I haven't seen the Quadra Torcasar in some time, so that's nice. I am feeling tired today, and I almost drove past this place, but I'm glad I didn't because it looks like the pegs are stocked full of some brand new cars i'm seeing some good stuff back there that i haven't seen really out at you know many places you know in terms of people reporting about finds on facebook so we got some deputy mcqueens up here we have a rumbler lightning mcqueen who i found here a couple weeks ago with the rest of case g so we'll set him to the side there you have k pillar derev we have a couple noah go and man yeah this is a weird walmart because it has such a small selection of cars and yet it's been the most fruitful for me you have luigi and guido there we have ryan inside laney another mcqueen oh there's a pretty good one i'd say rumbler mater so this would be case j the half case j so we'll set him off to the side we have nile speed cone here that's pretty cool doesn't look like the case j is that good because it would also like the full version has west philanthus and adam rodriguez which I'm not seeing here, sadly, but I will take those for sure. I think overall this is a pretty good day here at Walmart. We have a couple Maypillar Durebs who are definitely peg warming. Doesn't seem like they have anything Glow Racers related up top. Looks like they have some Hot Wheels Glow stuff. But yeah, this is a pretty good Walmart overall. I'm very happy about this. Yeah, I just looked up the contents for the Walmart version, the half version of Case J. And the only one that I'm missing here is Lee Revkin. So I guess that's good, but also bad because there's like four to five other awesome releases in the case. I'll take these though. So we're here at Walmart and it looks like they moved the car section actually because it used to be over there, remember? And now it's over here in kind of this weird little nook and cranny, but I like what I'm seeing right now. We have some Case J remnants. So that's Rumbler, 
McQueen, kind of what we found last time at the other place. That's Rumbler Mater, Nile, another Nile. Yeah, lots of Case J remnants here. Which is pretty good. Some Deputy McQueens. Oh my god. Yeah, not a great place to put them. <laughs> Hard to shuffle through. But yeah, it looks like two full Case Js in terms of their half versions, you know, because there's two of everything here. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. I got some more of the accessory packs over here, but nothing too new or earth shattering. Got the Glow Racers playset that we reviewed. And that is about all. So here we are at Walmart, and they don't have anything good in terms of singles, no motto, but they do have the new five pack with Finish Line, Lady McQueen, and Race Official Tom, the whole squad there. Not the Breaker Boggs five pack though, which would have been really awesome to find, but I'll take that, I guess. Everything else is pretty lame, I would say. Meh. So we're here back at the Nook and Cranny Walmart where they stuff all the singles into this little slit of a shelf. And it's just remnants from the last time we were here. They did add a few new accessory packs. They have the five pack that we found last night. And looky, 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 they have another five pack down here, very sneakily hiding. And it is the one with brand new Breaker Boggs, who's also being released as a single, being found at Targets right now. And there are two of them, so I'll pick up both. Very excited about that. Actually, a new car, which marks the first time in a while I found a new car in the store. Here we are at Target. I'm absolutely ecstatic. Haven't found this many new cars in a store in years, literally. They have a full case out here. So you have two Breaker Boggs, who's also out in a Walmart five pack. We have Doug Crankle, good to see him as well. You have Squat, brand new release right here. She's looking good. Randy, probably the most coveted one of the case. Mallory Carha, another brand new ghost there. You have Jay Shoesteer up there. It's a nice re-release. Don Pitts, Johnny Blamer, another good one there. We got Greg Candyman over here. This is probably one of the best cases of the year. There's just like so much good stuff packed into it. Let's see what else. I know there's an Emily Beam right back here. She's also a pretty good inclusion. She was only previously in case G. It feels like such a weird day to put all this stuff out. Like it must have been just put out a couple of hours ago and it's Monday. Such an odd time to do it. But. I will take it for sure. There's anything else here? Got a couple of Nile speed cones. Oh my goodness. The pegs are absolutely packed. Lots of Deputy McQueens. Yeah, guys, this is pretty exciting. I've never found this many new cars before. I don't know what's going on in the Chicagoland area right now because I never ever have had this much luck back to back to back. But yeah, this is what I believe to be a full case K at Walmart. And of course they only get half cases in, so it's like a full half. But yeah, you have Mallory Carhut, who we just found last night at Target from case L. This is the World Grand Prix McQueen now on the darker red packaging. Maypillar Durev, more McQueens, Patty her first release from Thailand and not the demolition derby version of her which is down here in the five pack and then yeah you guys got a glimpse of it what we're really truly here for and that is Mato who I am just over the moon for cannot believe I was able to score a Mato here but yeah it really does stink because this case also has Tubbs Pacer, Vladimir Trunkov and the Quadra Torquesar but because it's the half version all of those are not included but this is just crazy. This is like the tiny, messy Walmart, but it usually tends to be where I have my most luck. And although they're a smaller Walmart, they certainly got in a ton of five packs up there. All Breaker Boggs and Finish Line McQueen ones. We're at another Walmart here to see if my luck streak can continue. But this one is stuck on case J, but I mean, it's still pretty good. You have Nile Speed Cone, you have Rumbler McQueen, Rumbler Mater, but beyond that, the Walmart KSG is pretty dry. 
compared to the full version of it. You got, of course, the five packs, lots of color changers, some accessory packs, but nothing too crazy here. Hopefully Glow Racer soon. So we're at Target here and it looks like they have remnants of that case with Randy Case L because of the Sarge here. It's pretty much the only recognizable one. Oh, and guys, Lightning McQueen would sign. But yeah, that's just a carryover from last year. And I just somehow managed to get that on the floor. I'll pick that up in a second. But yeah, this is heavily picked over. They do have the new Red and Stanley 2-pack. So they got in one of the new 2-packs cases. But I think that's like Case R. Yeah, that's Case R. <laughs> and a lot of stores are getting in T. So they're two behinds here, which is a little crazy. But still not a bad day here. I will take what I can get. So we're here at Target and they have remnants of 2023 two packs case T. Back at the magical Target and they're looking pretty stocked, especially in terms of mini racers three packs. They just have a bunch of all the new ones here. Aaron kind of fast, Professor Z, and they just have a whole slew of them. But no new singles, unfortunately. They're just depleted. And no new two-packs, surprisingly. They have a bunch, but nothing new. Darn. The cars are back at Kohl's, guys. This is kind of crazy. I saw someone post about this on Facebook. So I made sure to hit mine up, and I know. Yes, sir. Love to see a little rich mix in action. Let's see how much these are going for. Oh, not bad at all. A couple years ago, they were like eight bucks here. So that's actually incredible better than Target. It's crazy, oh my gosh. This is some good stuff here. I'll take some KC remnants. Oh boy, guys. I could see him all the way from the other end of the aisle. And this is a big time. Not a huge fan of the $10 price because that's actually more expensive than Target despite the singles being cheaper. But it looks like we have a full case of the two packs, two packs case T, a Mark Sondheimer here. But we did already find, but all these other ones obviously did not. Lisa and Luis, brand new. Oh my God, two of them. That's kind of crazy. We got a Harlem Haynes and Claire Gunzer. I'm trying to speak a little louder because the music that's playing is pretty loud and surely is copyrighted, even though I do really like the song. I already got that one. Here you have Kabuto and Kabuto Ninja. So yeah, unfortunately the Bella Cadaver Pack is not re-included in this case. This one is though. Don't want to do that. Red and Stanley is back. This is definitely the best one here. Chiefdis and Jeremy. Another Holland Haynes and Claire Gunzer. Oops. And here we have another Dragon McQueen and Drift Party Mater. So overall, this is a huge win and probably a great way to end Hunt 25. I mean, this is fantastic here.